Hello, this is Sam back with another video of everything electrical here on YouTube. Today I'm making a video going over the different material compartments that I keep in my work van. And the purpose of this is just to show the extra stock material that I have. We're going to go over some of the parts and pieces just as a general educational. Um, Working as an electrician, there's more parts and pieces than any other trade versus a plumber or an AC tech or something like that. We have more uh, types of materials and pieces that we use on our installations than any other type. Um, in these trays, there's not really much organization to it. It's just stuff that I've gathered over the years. And it's kind of just a backup for to have things when you need them. Um, I keep things like in here. That's a that's a lug for a neutral or a ground bar on a GE panel. Um, different types of lugs. <clears throat> All different types of assorted screws. It's a long wood screw. Looks like an inch and a half lockering. This is what is known as a beam clamp. Beam clamp. Here I have a three quarter KO seal. three-quarter plastic bushing this is a this is a <clears throat> straight caddy bang on this works for a half half inch and three-quarter EMT just different stuff in here. This is a hose clamp. Three quarter standoff strut. Inch and a quarter one hole strut. This is an um, inch and a quarter unistrut strut. Again, the idea here is just to go over different pieces and parts just for uh, general education for anyone that might be interested in learning different parts. This is a Batwing, MC Batwing strap. Here I just have a bunch of different assorted screws, different types. Um, compact fluorescent light bulb for testing out anytime you need to test something or a light fixture. Test bulb. Uh, here I have a three quarter Carflex 90. Two inch plastic insulator bushing. It's a three quarter inch Carflex straight. Quarter inch cone nut for Unistrut. Cone nut. Half inch washer and bolts. Don't need those very often, but I have them. Just toggle bolts. Uh, 
This is a sleeve anchor. Quarter inch sleeve anchor for mounting to concrete or brick surfaces. It's an Allen anchor for concrete also. This is known as Chinese money for making a knockout um, or actually they're called the reducer, reducer washers and that's if you have a knockout like if you have a one inch knockout and you're trying to put a three quarter inch connector in it or any type of any type of connector that you're trying to downsize from the hole that's there you use these reducer washers to make that happen also known as Chinese money Have some plastic anchors here. Oops. Plastic anchor. That's for mounting to brick or concrete, also. Here's an MC connector. Double barrel MC connector. Three quarter EMT connector. Three quarter EMT coupling. Three quarter flex connector. That is no locks for connecting um, copper and aluminum wires, which we'll do a video on in the future. Copper Buchanan's for crimping uh, bare copper in Romex residential houses. Here I have some rain time fittings. This is a half inch rain tight EMT connector. Here's a half inch EMT rain tight coupling. Here's another tray. So we have here the three-quarter flex straight connector blue wire nuts staples for Romex Just all kind of, all kind of stuff here. I have this is a 632 screw, which is commonly found for plugs and switches, <clears throat> those types of devices. 632, and let's see if I can find an 832. And this is an 832, and that's more commonly used for um, light fixtures. <clears throat> Uh, mainly light fixtures, two main kind, 632-832. These are pretty cool. These are um, Tapcon screws, and they basically screw into the concrete. Uh, it's a concrete anchor, like a sleeve anchor or an easy anchor or a plastic anchor. They work pretty good. This is what's known as a wall dog. And that's for just screwing, screwing straight into sheetrock. Come in handy. Keep um, 
Just some nails, good to have. Some zip ties here. Some washers. There's some string. Panel blank. <clears throat> That's it then, and there's thick for covering up spaces on the dead front of the panel. So yeah, that's that's it. That's just what I keep on the on the work van. Um, overstock stuff that I've collected, and um, I hope you hope you found it <clears throat> interesting and educational. Thanks for watching.